Hello and good day to you. Today's video will be drawing a flower and then filling the flower with lines. That means we'll be using line technique or strokes to fill the flower. For this project, we'll need a graphics tablet and a stylus. graphic software I'm using clip studio paint software I'm using the EX version of the software open the software click on file new a window appears use of work click on illustration file name you can leave it now and change it later where you want to save or you can change it if you desire now unit of the file working i'm using inches the width i'm using eight you can change it if you desire and the height is eight resolution because i'll be printing this as a greeting card and also on a fabric i'll use 300 then when i want to print for a fabric i can resize it if i want to or I'll resize it. The paper color, you can check if, if you don't want the paper color, but if you want, check. And if you desire a different color apart from white, click into the color, the window appears. You can choose from square from the square color wheel, the circle, the triangle, the circle, and of course, color history, color set or color history. There are some color sets here and the color history. When you are happy with the color that you've chosen, click OK. But if it is, if you change your mind, click cancel or just close it. If you're happy with the information for the file that you want to create, click OK. For this project, we'll be using the pen tool and the auto select, sorry, the pen tool, the auto select tool and the razor brush. Sorry, it's razor tool. <laughs> um, select the pen tool. And in the sub tool pen palette, click on for effect line. You can use any pen to sketch. I just don't want to change from one pen to the other. But okay, let's change. Let's, let me use a real G pen this time. But for the line art, I'll be using the for effect line pen so for this to draw i'll use the real g pen the size i use 1.2 let me try it and see if i like it okay that's fine 1.2 and in the two property the brush size as as i said earlier 1.2 Opacity is 100, Antilizing, None, Stabilization, I'm going to increase it to 21, let me see if I reduce it, let me see 100, okay, I'll make it um, 100. That's for th because I'm using the G pen, real G pen, sorry, real G pen. So you can use any pen you desire to use. We just, we just want to sketch. In the layer palette, there's already a layer there created. We'll just draw a teardrop in the form to form our first petal.
kind of wriggly. <laughs> That's why I like the four effect line. Let me go back to the four effect line. Too. Let me go back to the four effect line. I prefer that one. Let me go back to that. Okay, so for our pen, I've gone to the four effect line. And I'll use 1.2. The four effect line pen to 1.2. The two property. Your best is 100. Antilizing none. Post correction, second bar. I like the effect it creates whenever it's uh, when you're making a flower. It's really nice. It's, it's, it's nice, it's smooth, and you can wriggle it and it will keep to shape. If you if you want a circle in bit so that you can if you want a circle so that you can walk around the circle, create a new layer. Then take the pen to increase the size. Let me say like uh, 10. And work in, activate the new layer. Then come in to your work surface and just put a dot there. You can make it as large as you want it to be. Let's use 20 is to, okay, 17 is to. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me use 12. We have it there. Now we can draw a flower around this um, center stamen. Going back to size 1.2 and working on the first layer, our line art layer, we can now continue drawing. So I'm just going to clean this first drawing. If you don't like what you've drawn, you can erase and it starts again. The other petal is too. Too large. Just trying to add a curve, not a spatter coil. Make sure your petal cl closes because you're going to use the auto select tool. Okay, so here we have. Any line you don't like, you can clean it or you can delete it. So here's our flower. We'll leave the center. If you want it, if you don't want it, you can delete it. We'll just leave that. Even if as it acts as a guide we can still use it so we create another layer under this um, blossom layer and that layer we can let's make a board
Remember the wiggling of the, the wriggling of the bra of sorry of the pen creates um, a ruffling effect for the edge of the flower or petal. I'm going to leave this without a stem for now and decide later if I want a stem. So um, we'll create another layer under this layer, under this board layer and that's going to be for the leaves. I think the other one is too big. So I'm going to close this one so that you can see the leaves. With the eraser tool, the two palettes I'm using the hard eraser. The soft to palette, I'm using the hard eraser. And um, the two property, I'm using the hardness is on the all bars field. Brush density is 62, and um, the size is 4.23. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, depend on what you want the size that you desire. So I'm going to make off layers visible now. And if you notice, you can see the um, leaves appearing. We'll take care of that. So I'll make the leaves layer invisible. If you want another layer in this flower, it's optional, you can add it. But um, I'll, I won't add it. Instead, when we finish making the flower, we're going to duplicate to create the greeting card. Then I'll... Um, We'll have to place the flower or the blossom in a kind of floral arrangement. Then that one you can make um you can make it um, dense, you can make it disperse. So we're gonna create a new layer. Let me name this layer so that I I'll call this the first layer that the center Yes, this one is going to be called stamen. Then the second one I'm going to call it bloom one or large bloom. Large bloom is all right. Then this one. And this will be the leaves. Okay. Now that we've renamed the layers, I'm going to hide the visibility of the leaves because we are going to work on this large bloom. And I'll hide the visibility of the board. This large bloom layer, I'm going to, du sorry, not duplicate. <laughs> I'm going to create a new raster layer and I'll name it Large Bloom Fill. Fill. 
select the auto select tool activate the large bloom layer click into it so that it selects so that the flower is being selected then go to the new layer we just created which is a la large blue sorry <laughs> large bloom fill layer activate it take the pen tool now the pen we are using the sub to palette of the sub to pen is for effect line then the brush size we'll use 0 0.5 two property Basically, it's 100, anti-aliasing, non post correction is on the second bar. So, in the layer palette, we are working on the large blue fill layer. Large bloom fill layer. We're going to make strokes now. let me use a lighter shade in the color palette you can if you want to use a lighter shade that's fine if you don't want to that's optional so i'm just going to come in here and pick one thing about drawing lines is that the direction you put is the direction it will look as if that's the direction the flower is um coiling into and don't forget the ruffles if you have ruffles on the edge of the petals so i'm just going to and because sorry because of the selection it's not going to go out of the image Keep on making strokes if you don't like the strokes you'd go back undo or you erase it You can select one you not if you notice just now I made a mistake as I was as I made a stroke it came into this first petal that I've already um filled. To avoid that you can work in layers, but I just don't want to work in layers. I want this so uh, I want to be very careful. As if that's the only canvas that I have. <laughs> That means if you want to work in layers, you have to select one petal first, work on that petal, then create a new layer, work on the second petal. This design is so nice, especially in a rubber stamp. It looks like a rubber stamped image that don't need coloring in. Because you've already colored in using lines. If you don't want to use lines, you can use dots, like pointillism. You can shade if you want to. Cross hatching. Cross hatching.
so we finished oh sorry <laughs> so we finished filling the inner bloom we need we need to fill the coils so i'm going to go select click on select deselect and then activate the original line at original line at image click on the auto select tool and click into each of the press that shift key to select both of them the petal coil can add a new layer to work on or you can use this um the layer for the inner bloom i've already added a new layer now so that i can work on that separately When you are through, click on select and deselect. Here we have our bloom. I'm going to click on make the visibility of the, open the visibility of the board. Activate the board layer with the auto select tool. select the board layer you can also press the shift key on your keyboard to select all petals create a new layer and with the pen tool and the new layer activated don't like this i'm gonna start again start filling in the design the lines If you feel that the brush is too large, you can reduce the size. When you're happy with it or you're true, click on select, deselect. 
activate the leaves layer create a new layer for the leaves supposed to rename so i'll just uh, quickly rename them i'll call this the leaves fill and this one i'll call but fill That coil so I'm gonna close the visibility of the other layers I don't want them to interfere with the leaves I want you to see what I'm doing the auto select to select the auto select to click into the leaves layer click into the leaves layer press the shift key and select the other leaves activate the new layer that you need to work on to make the strokes on or lines on and let's start working if you desire you can change the color of the leaves so I think I should, um, let me use some green. And still working on the leaf. Oh, it's not, okay. <laughs> Just making sure that it's the right layer we're working on.
I'm just going to erase this one here. I don't like this line. Crossing. Okay, and I'll continue. Make sure I'm in the right layer. And I'll continue. Just erase uh, some of them. I think that's all right. So we finished our flower. I'm going to make. We'll make them visible. And then start making any alteration we need to. So go to select the select to deselect the leaves. So here's a flower. If you want to, let's change the outline of the leaf to green. So activate the green layer, sorry, the leaves layer. Zoom in and click into the lines. The selection that you take the auto select to click into the lines and you notice that the selection is only in the lines of the leaves. Take a large brush or the pen to large size and just color in. We'll do same for the other leaves here and to select them together press the shift key take the large pen tool sorry <laughs> the pen tool brush size very large and just filling with the color that you desire it to be so i'm filling in i'm filling with the green finish i'll just click on select deselect if you notice you see that the let's go closer to this one let me take another two you will notice that the leaves are showing through the petals this is not nines so we'll take care of that now and then arrange the petals layer palette Okay, before then, the stamen, let's get a small pen, small size pen too. So, we'll take up 0 0.5. Okay, let me take 0 0.7, see how it is. It's so, alright. Select color white. White, no, not white. Sorry, not white. Um, go to your color history and select the purple we use in filling the... the stamen sorry the petals go to your color history select the purple that we use in filling the 
inner part of the petals or we use in making the lines for the petals if you want to go lighter you can do that let's go a bit lighter then click on ok add a new layer above the stem end layer and then just make tiny dots Let me zoom in so that you can see. We need to add highlights to make um, the stem ends pop or have the 3D look. So select a white color, add a new layer. For effect line, just um, make a line on one side, a stroke on one side and you can see it. now let's arrange our pet our flower i'm going to duplicate i'll match the first um i'll match the stem ends together so i'll just say match with layer below right click on it and say match with layer below so that will match the stem ends we're going to duplicate this blossom then duplicate the leaves and work with the duplicate. So duplicate each layer of the flower or each flower layer and then close the original. When will you finish duplicating? Close the leaves and the board layer. No, that's not. That's the leaf layer. And this is the board. Close the background layer, which is the paper. And then merge visible. Right click on it and say merge visible layers so that the petals, the large flower, um, sorry, so that the large bloom merge together. Open the copy of the, the leaves. Close this flower layer, the bud layer, sorry, the bloom layer. Right click on, on the layer palette and merge the leaves layer together. Make sure the original is not being tampered with or merged.
open a copy of the board layer close the leaves layer and then match only the board layer by matching them matching right click on the layer and match visible layers So here's our flower. We need to arrange now. Select the operation tool and in the sub tool operation, select object because we're going to move objects together. So we're going to arrange it to create our flower. going to close this leaf first then we'll duplicate this large bloom right click on the large bloom layer and duplicate it if you want to resize you can resize or you can you click on the rotate to and rotate Arrange the flower the way you want them to be. And click on OK. So I'm going to make it slightly overlap. Okay, and then click on OK. We activate the leaves layer. Oh, I've made, oh, <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay, what I'm going to do is select the leaves. Take the selection to, I'm going to select, activate the leaves layer, sorry. I'm going to close these two layers first. Activate the leaf layer and take the selection to select one of these leaves. Go to edit, copy and edit, paste. It will paste it into a new layer. Then activate that leaf layer again. Go to select the select. We're going to select this other one so that we can place the leaves where we want them to be then select the leaves go to edit copy and edit paste and to paste it into a new layer then we can close this uh, merged layer then select deselect visibility of the pe large petal bloom make it visible make the large petal bloom visible activate the leaves and arrange the leaves the way you want them to be you can rotate them just make sure your flower so so just rotate the flowers and make sure there's enough room for each flower. If you want to scale the bloom, you can. If you want to adjust it, scale, you can do that. Then click OK. So then we'll work on the second bloom. Okay. 
and I can duplicate it if I want to the leaves just working on them then the board I have to look for a place for this board I just put it there so here's our flower if you notice you can see the lines in we need to clean those lines because you are going to you've already arranged them you will need to duplicate again that's because what when you clean the lines you've already altered the uh, shape of the leaf and the flower so you can't uh, you have to go back on you have to go use the undo button to rectify any error to avoid that you are just going to reduplicate each and every one of this flower and close the original We can rename them later. So I've duplicated them. You need the eraser tool for this project. Take a size that you are comfortable with. So take the eraser tool, select the eraser tool, and I'll be using size. Um, let me see, size eight is all right. Okay, I can. Re you reduce it as you get to the corners. You can use a smaller size. Working on the layer palette, I'm going to first of all work on the leaves. Just want to check which of the leaves. Okay. Activate the leaf you want to work on. And then make sure we're working on this leaf here. If you notice it's appearing on this petal and it's not looking nice. So we have to clean it. We have to erase. So we've erased it. This is why we had to duplic duplicate because you're already making alteration. Then we activate the second leaf. What? Yes, the appearing. Okay. We zoom in so that you can see. And with the eraser tool, you go into the leaves layer and clean. Make sure you don't um, clean the, you only clean where it's where it appears on the petal not the whole leaf okay our flower is looking nice now this other leaf we are you okay we activate that leaf I think we have to arrange this leaf properly. Sorry, I'm trying. Okay. Need to place it properly, okay? Okay, with the eraser tool selected and the leaf activated, going to erase where it appears on this um, our bloom. Okay, this is another part.
now the before we work on the board let's work on this um, flower if you notice the flower one is appearing on the other and it's making a mess here creating a kind of cross hatching here we don't want that so i'm going to find where the flower is no not it has a coil so i want it to be up okay this is it so activate the bloom you want to delete some portion of and we're just going to delete where it appears on the so i'm going to take it below the flower because um below the upper bloom it creates a neat edge if not the lines we once you finish cleaning or erasing the lines will be on the on the outline of the bloom you don't want that so you have to take it below the bloom you want you don't want it to appear so here we have an orange bloom and uh, let's arrange our petal sorry our board okay i'm going to don't know what to erase here okay i'll raise the leaves so i'll activate the leaves and uh, place the leaves below the board to give me a nice edge and i don't want um, the lines of the leaves appearing on the outline of the board so now activate the board and clean where it appears on this flower on this um, bloom this large bloom All right. so here's our flower for a card i can just go in here and write uh, this keyboard select the text tool and then okay, mother's is coming so let me use a special mom click on the pen pencil icon your pen icon to edit then i'll change the text to tendency heavy Let's see okay we can you we can change the colors let me just enlarge it so that we change the colors first let's change the text select the text and then change it to tendency heavy mm, no i don't like it it's not nice stencil mm -mm. no still struggling to select the text um, okay and we can change one color i'm going to change one color to purple so I just select on the mom and uh, with the eyedropper tool, I'm going to click into the dark purple so that it takes purple. Oh, uh, I've missed it again. Okay. Select mom. Select only mom. Uh, okay, let me use M-O-M. Select mom and in the color palette here in the text tool, don't go out of it. Take the eyedropper tool and make it purple. 
then click OK and mom will be purple. Then special, I'm going to do same. Come into the color palette, not the color palette in the text tool. When you are editing the text, when you are editing the text. So take the eyedropper tool there and um, click on the green. Then click OK. A special will be. It's nice because you can fill one color, one um, side with a, a different one word with a different color and the other word with another color. When you are happy, click on the tick button and then close the text editing window. So here's our beautiful flower. There's one I made. That was last month. In the month of January, I'll just look for it. I think I opened it here. Okay, here it is. So this was one I made in the month of January. And this is the one we made today. So I'll print this on a greeting card and make it into fabric. Then I can give it a, I'll have a, a card that coordinates with a fabric when I present it as a gift. So we we'll have to save our work. Click on file, save as. You can save in Clip Studio format, PSD format. Foot, sorry, you can save in Clip Studio format or Photoshop format. Photoshop document. If you save in Photoshop document, you can open it in any other software, graphic software. But if you save in Clip Studio format, you may not be able to open it in other software. And um, if you save in Photoshop document, it will still be in layer format when you open it in other software. Only that if you use vector, depend on the graphic software, it might have, might have changed to something else. If you use vector, depend on the graphic software, might have changed to to change to a raster layer. So I prefer saving in both. I pref I do save in both, to save in Clip Studio format, and I also save in um, save as um, Photoshop document. So here I'm gonna save this. And call it line fill flower or oh, flower drawing with line fill. Okay. With line fill. And I'll save it in Clip Studio format. And I'll also save because I want to use it for fabric designing. I'm going to save in Photoshop document so that I can open it in the graphic software. It's telling me now that um, some layers are not compatible. I'll say yes. Proceed. Thanks for joining me for this video. Until next time, happy designing, happy flower drawing. Bye for now. Thank you.